Well, we all know El Nino has a big effect on the winter forecasts, especially for us here in the tri-state. Matter of fact, it already has had an impact on our weather the last couple of months. Our summer, for example, was cooler than average and our fall was drier than average. So let's talk about El Nino, what it is and exactly what we can expect here during the upcoming winter season. So normally trade winds, they blow from east to west here right across uh, the smack dab in the center of the globe. And that push those warmer waters towards Asia or really away from the Americas here. And that's important because that's what drives high and low pressure systems, which ultimately set up where the rains fall and where they don't. So typically we start to see them weaken during some of these El Nino years and some of the waters push back closer to the Americas and we start to see a big change in what happens over the winter precipitation outlook. So this is what we typically expect during your average El Nino year. You can see much drier than average conditions and that's exactly where we find ourselves here in the tri-state. And so that's going to be our official forecast here for the next few months. And really appropriately so, we began this pattern really in August, but for the month of uh, September, October, and November, we saw a much drier than average season here of autumn. You can see where the rains go, primarily well to our south, hugging the coastline. Now I dug back in the record books for the last six times that we saw moderate to strong El Ninos here in the tri-state region. And check out all the red. So five of the last six ones, we actually saw well below average total precip from average. That does include both rain and snow. Again, a good indication of what we're going to see here for this upcoming winter.